I didn't make the cup, but I'm not too sad. <laughs> So obviously this is the whip update and um, I didn't do a whole lot last month and so I'm going to be trying to get caught up on some things. Right out the gate I mentioned that um, I had a story that I submitted to an anthology and I was a finalist and I was very excited about it but I didn't make the cut and that's okay. Um, it was in a genre that I don't usually write and so I was trying to challenge myself. I like to do that because I feel like for me, that's the only way I'm going to get better. I did like the fact that they gave me some feedback and that was really good. So um, even though I didn't make that, you know, I got to submit and I was very excited about that. So let's get in to my whip update. For that particular story, I'm pulling up my notes right now. So the story that I submitted was called Lover's Lodge. And um it's supposed to be kind of a scary story and it's not that i can't do scary i don't intentionally do scary and i'm not into like certain things when it comes to scary i guess <laughs> so anyway i did have fun giving myself that challenge so that story was 1483 words of lover's lodge and i'll be sharing that story with my Patreon supporters. Um, I'll probably eventually include it in like an anthology of my own um, submissions because, and actually if I, if I don't share it with my followers, I could still submit it somewhere else because it's not technically posted anywhere, but I am gonna share it because, you know, that's fine. I don't, I don't unless someone wants to take a second submission, I'm not gonna worry about it. So let's get into some of my other projects that I've been working on. I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but I'm kind of shifting gears with the two stories that I've been working on. Um, I got feedback about them. And so basically the one project is just way too complex to try to keep it as a short story. It just does not work. There's just too much going on. And I can totally appreciate that. So I'm basically using what I'm doing right now as kind of like a plotting device. I'm literally plotting out the entire story and then I'll go back in and turn um, basically different like paragraphs and sections and stuff into individual scenes, which will then probably flesh out a full novel. That'll take some time, but I am still enjoying plotting some of this stuff. So for the Twilight Moon, oh, and those that that 1,483 words for Lover's Lodge was written in April. And then I shared that I had submitted the story in May but I didn't like add anything to it. So I didn't have anything for that for May. But for the Twilight Moon story that I've been plotting out in April, I only did 429 words for that one. Um, because again, I was getting the feedback and deciding like what I was gonna do and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't do a whole lot of new plotting at that point. Um, and then I realized there was a whole scene that I had like made a note about and I had never written and so I had to like go back and write it so I went back and wrote the scene that I forgot to write in May and that was 594 words so for the um Twilight Moon story plotting that so total what I wrote for um April and May for the Twilight Moon was 1020 words which is not a whole lot, but again, that's remembering that I am also I wrote another short story and then I also have another story to update you on. So in total for right now, um, what I've plotted out for that story is 4,187 words. So this again, is just me plotting it all out. Now let's talk about my other story that is gonna take a completely different turn, The Legend of Mainland. I'm also kind of using this one as a plotting thing right now. But what I've decided to do with this story is I'm gonna finish plotting it out, which I only have one more section to do because I wrote um, a section in April and I wrote a section in May and I've started working on this section for June. And um, once I finish this, the, the plotting of the story will be done. Instead of developing it out like I'm doing my other story and turning it into a novel, I'm gonna use this plotting out to turn it possibly into a graphic novel. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me, 
but I think that's what I want to try to do. I have a couple of different people who are really good at illustrations and things like that. And I'm going to try to make this work. I'm going to use this story that I've plotted out and potentially turn this into a graphic novel. So once I've completed probably my June whip update, um, you know, next month, uh, you won't hear a whole lot about that one for a while because I'm going to be kind of working out some things to figure out, is it going to be possible for me to turn that story into a graphic novel? So here's the update. <laughs> so for the Legend of Mainland in April, I wrote 1,127 words. And then in May, I wrote 978 words. So between April and May, I wrote 2,105 words in the Legend of Mainland. Overall, since I began the project, I am at 6,339 words for the Legend of Mainland. And like I said, I have one more section to go, and that's going to be pretty much plotted out. And instead of developing that into a novel, I'm going to be trying to see if I can turn it into a graphic novel. Um, I have other projects that I'm working on. I'm going to be giving my Patreon supporters a lot more information about these. People have been asking me about my Eternal Curse series. They know that I've been working on a rewrite forever because I have been working on it forever. I'm still working on it, but this is a very complicated process that I'm basically going back and kind of trying to tell the story in chronological order. So I'm not going to give you a whole lot of updates on that, but moving forward, I probably will have more updates on that. I will let you know right now that I'm going to be changing the name of the series. It will most likely moving forward be referred to as the Mark of Fletzian. So if you are an Eternal Curse fan and you've been wanting to know what's been going on with that series, Moving forward, if you hear me talking about the Mark of Bledsian, that's it. That's the rewrite that I'm working on. Um, also, finally, going to try to really buckle down. I keep starting and stopping, starting and stopping, trying to make a sequel to my Sayings series. That's my one and only romantic kind of comedy, like upbeat kind of thing that I've written. And um it was, this is probably the hardest thing for me to write because it's just not what I write on a normal, and I think that's why I've struggled with it all this time, but anyway, I have been actively working on that, <laughs> and then also another story that I've been working on and off on for a while has been um, touched by Oma, number one, you may have re heard me refer to that as We Are Jardin, and so I'll be giving more updates on that stuff later. I don't have word counts for those just so you know that they are works in progress. And that's what this is, a whip update. So I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really excited about what I'm doing. I know I work at a really slow pace compared to a lot of other writers, but this is what I can do. Um, I will go ahead and mention that aside from doing like all this writing and stuff, I've also been dabbling in illustration. I'm very close to finishing illustrating my um, Margie book. I am doing this one by hand, which is why it's taking so long. Uh, I have kind of um, rough draft written out a sequel to my Carney Loves Books um, story. And so that one is going to be interesting. And I have written two more picture books that I will going to kind of clean those up. And so I'll be giving updates on more of that stuff later, but I know it probably seems like I'm not doing a lot creatively, but I am. And even if I'm not doing as much as I would like, I am happy that I'm able to do what I can. And so thank you for, you know, hanging out and you guys, please stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you next time.